How to know if you are a witch by blood and have magical powers. Witches may be seen in some places as being bad people or people who are not mortals because of their extraordinary powers. Some people practice the art of witchcraft as it can be used to heal sicknesses and to do so many other things in the world. However, only a few people have an interest in witchcraft. These people are powerfully drawn to the craft despite what the society describes the art to be. Some people who practice witchcraft art today grew up in families where the art was seen as superstitious and evil that would lead one down a dark and deadly path. These people are drawn to the art and they suddenly find the art alluring and irresistible. Some people even wonder if the sudden interest means that they have a predisposition to the craft. They begin to ask questions just to know if they have a connection to the art that they are not aware of. Some even go as far as thinking maybe they have magicians in their bloodlines and that is the reason they are becoming so much interested in the craft. They seem to have this feeling of complete joy and calmness in their soul when they eventually start learning and practicing the craft. There are so many reasons why you might feel so connected to witchcraft. These reasons are outlined in this video, but first, things in which you have to do such as trying to discover your ancestral bloodline what they did, and so many others. But first, let's talk about magical ancestry and bloodline. Magical ancestry and bloodline. If the history of every man is traced far back enough, it will be discovered that everyone has magical ancestry in their bloodline. It is inevitable because, at a time, there have always been people who used one form of magic or another to heal and do other things. At some time, it had different names, different techniques, and held different views about it. But the fact remains that it has always been there. It is believed by people who practice the art that magic comes from nature and as such is a natural resource that humans must harness to their use. Rediscovering your family lineage you don't have to ask if magic is in your lineage because there is. The only problem is that the generation that you grew up to meet has tried to hide such information from you. This is a very precious family tradition that is supposed to be passed down from generation to generation, but they have decided to shield you from this knowledge. So, if you see yourself falling in love with the magic and the craft, then you must know that a big truth was hidden from you and that can be frustrating. But not to worry, there are ways in which you can reconnect with your magical roots and know if truly magic runs in your family lineage. Tracing your family lineage. Going about this is never an easy task, but with the improvement in technology, it has now made it easier for more and more people to trace their family lineage to as far back as hundreds of years ago. The only thing to do is carry out a DNA test and take the results for more digging. Making contact with the dead. Some psychics specialize in this particular craft. They are called necromancers. The act requires some special skills because you are expected to get in contact with the dead and if you don't have the required skills, you might just end up endangering yourself. To be able to contact your ancestral spirits yourself, you are expected to master the art very well to be able to protect yourself and anyone close to you and learn how to cleanse your space after every contact for when any unpleasant meet. The end of October through the beginning of November is usually the best time to carry out such practices. There are other means in which communication with the dead can take place, and with the right skill or person, this can be done effectively. Some other techniques that can be used for spirit communication include rituals such as scrying, automatic writing, and dream work. Some prefer communing through divination tools such as pendulums, tarot cards, runes, or Ouija boards. 
reflection and daydreaming. If you are proficient enough to use your creative imaginations for spiritual expeditions and journeys, you can also make use of this technique to explore your family lineage. This can be done by visualizing yourself walking down a staircase. You should not enter wholly, but try to get off at some points when you see the need to seek a guide who may be able to lead you the right way to your ancestors for a little chat. Some people will say that this is just your imagination at work, but the imagination can also be a powerful tool for accessing real information through the subconscious. Hereditary Witches The distinction between hereditary witches and people that have witchcraft in their ancestry is often being confused, but the difference is simply put. A hereditary witch is one that is being trained by another witch, and this has nothing to do with bloodline, and it doesn't prove a person to be a direct descendant of someone who practiced the art. A hereditary witch is born and brought up in a magical tradition, and the practice is passed down directly to the person from others who practiced it. The obvious advantage of being a hereditary witch is that your training starts young and is hands-on, unlike the one who learns it when he discovers his passion for the craft through books. Those brought up in magical families usually don't have to struggle to outgrow the many delusions about magic as those who grew up in non-magical families. Well, what do you think, guys? Are you a witch by blood and have magical powers? Please tell me about your experiences in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell to join our notification squad. Thank you for watching this video.